I, I was really blessed to have a father that showed me unconditional love. And I, I can't even tell you what a blessing it is to understand how I could really mess up mm -hmm. and know that he was going to be there loving me. But without that type of a father role model, it's easy to see God as something very different. Yeah, so true. I grew up, um, uh, my mom was a single parent and um, is three of us. I'm the baby of the family. So my dad, he left when I was, I remember the day he left, actually, I think it was like four or five. And um, after he left, I would have every night like tantrums, like kicking and crying and, you know, yelling at my mom because I thought it was her fault that he left. And, you know, I just had this deep void, you know, for my dad. And as I got older, um, I found out he always lived about 15 20 minutes away from me, wow. you know, and that was just the biggest wound yeah. of my life for a long time was just not understanding why you could be so close, but still so far, you know, or not even interested. It felt like at times like he doesn't call me, he doesn't know my birthday. You know, I don't know. You know, I thought I had another brother and other kids and I had no clue who they were, you know, and so I just felt I just struggled with that for a long time. So one of the biggest healings in my life was when I did get saved and gave my life to the Lord, understanding that God was my father. Mm -hmm. But that was the most difficult thing because I didn't understand what it was like to have a man in our life. My big brother was like my dad, you know, he always looked out for me and took care of me. But, you know, it was still not that, you know, you can't replace a father, you know. Right. So, I mean, I, I think I'm still learning how to understand that, you know, instead of just going after the approval of always trying to do things to get approval or feel accepted or, you know, I have to catch myself in that because sometimes we lean to works, you know, thinking, oh, I'm doing all this right. So God's happy with me. Yeah. And then I do something wrong and oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah. I must did something, you know, <laughs> and um the Lord has just shown me how he's my father, but it's hard. I, t you know, taught with friends, family and all that who don't have dads. And if you say God is your father, you know, that's hard to receive because you're like, well, my dad was never there, you know, or he never called me or he doesn't know me. So God doesn't know me, you know, and I think it's that supernatural grace to have understanding yeah. that God is so above a man, any flesh, any person, you know, and he's always there. Well, my father was a very violent alcoholic and um actually we my family could have been one of those families you see plastered on the news you know this family killed over the night and it was only by the i i guess it was it had to be god and it, you know my dad passed out straight on the floor and we we tiptoed over him before he could kill us and that was one of the very last straws that that we faced that my mom uh kicked him out basically and divorced him but even that was a struggle and so i I always thought that my, I always thought that God, the Father, was very mean, very upset with me, and I had to had to tiptoe around to, you know, to keep him from from uh, bashing me basically with a big giant stick or something, and so I didn't have that relationship. Um, but I, uh, he's teaching me, he has taught me quite a bit that that he's not like that. He's very much a God of love, and he can be my father, and it was just such a big relief. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go out searching for my dad, you know, and uh, wow. because he, he is the father, mm -hmm. my father. And I always knew, I know Jesus as my savior. I know the Holy Spirit as our helper, but now I know God as our father. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a nice thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But God did allow me to come to a point to where I wasn't boiling anymore when I talked about my dad or somebody talked about my dad and I got to actually hug him uh, after that encounter and uh, then shortly after that he passed away mm -hmm. and so I'm so glad he walked me through those steps of forgiveness and that's so big is getting that from what you know mm -hmm. what you read and choose to believe mm -hmm. to what is really a part of mm -hmm. of me you know what's really in my heart because you can be raised in the most ideally Christian home and, and be raised in the church and still have a lot of those feelings of um, where's God when I'm looking for this or that or an adequacy or whatever it may be. You know, people, things hurt all of us in all different ways. And just really getting some sort of personal understanding, a revelation mm -hmm. of how much God loves us and, and what we mean to Him is a whole lot different than being taught it all along. Yeah, it's right. it's a different process.
Well, that's a huge aspect of him being dad, you know, him being father is that, you know, when he means cast your cares upon me, he means that, you know, and he wants us to lay it out, you know, and I think we can be intimidated to say, I'm mad, you know, like, Lord, this makes me mad. Like, how do I deal with this? You know, well, this is like really hurting. Know. Exactly. I, I exactly. think it's funny people that won't ever say, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, I'm just really upset with God today or I'm really whatever. And people we think like, lightning's oh, going to strike. Don't yeah. say that, you know, and they move away so they don't want the lightning yeah. to hit them too. But it's like, do you really think he doesn't know? Right. He yeah. already yeah. knows what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. It is like you're keeping it a surprise from him. Right. I do think, <laughs> think naturally we kind of lean one way or the other. Yeah. You know, we lean toward we're disappointing God. Right. Mm -hmm. Or I'm really mad at him yeah. for disappointing right. me. I right. tend to get mad. I'm kind of yeah. a mad at God kind of person. And I've really had to yeah. deal with that Definitely. in a lot of major ways in my life because it, it ain't good. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, God, what's up with that? You know? Yeah. But he straightens me out. Yeah. He straightens me out.